next. We're not going down without a fight. Members of the class of 2018 finding it hard to believe they will be the last to graduate. I was devastated and just shocked and blindsided. I had no idea that we were even close to a situation like as dire as this. A proud 61 year tradition ending in June. This is a very sad day, a very difficult day for everyone associated with Marion. At its height in the 80s, 800 kids fill these classrooms. Enrollment is down to 221 this year and projected to drop to 185 next year. People just are not choosing private education, and in our case, private Catholic education. Uh, around here, we are surrounded by some of the best public education in the state. For many families, rising tuition is a sacrifice. I'm one of six children, and uh, all my siblings and I have gone to Catholic school since grade school. Among its notable graduates, Krista McAuliffe aboard the Doom Challenger spacecraft. I went to middle school uh, public, and I completely lost my way. I just have to say that if it wasn't for this school and this amazing community, all my friends standing right here beside me, I would not be where I am right now, going to a wonderful university. Students here taking their fight to social media with a GoFundMe campaign to raise $5 million. As the seniors, we're the lucky ones. We, we know where we're going. Vowing not to go down without a fight. Hashtag Save Marion! Now, saving this school may indeed take a miracle. The school's board decision was unanimous. Remaining students can transfer to St. John's Prep in Brighton or Framingham High for those opting for public school. Live in Framingham, Jorge Quiroga, WCVB, Center 5.